Well, for more, Tom Brooks from Durham University's Law School joins us now live. Hi, Tom. You know, any prison Hello. sentence I would have thought would sound devastating for the Trump administration, but actually, this provides a boost of sorts uh, for Trump. A boost of sorts, insofar as the collusion point was not uh, was not a, a factor here um, in this conviction. So that's that's the good news, if there is any uh, for Trump. But to have someone uh, so senior um, in his campaign team, someone who has advised uh, previous uh, U.S. Republican Party presidents. Now facing a fine like this uh, for, um, and he's also the first person who was uh, arrested as part of the Mueller investigation. I think that um, you know what what little good news it gives Trump, it uh, it's very bad news. I think otherwise, and it shows a, a circle of criminality uh, that was around his team. His supporters have known that though; they don't really seem to mind. So, what else does Mueller have? really in the works, because if this was supposed to be a big fish, the, the whole investigation seems like it could prove a letdown uh, for Trump's opponents. Well, I don't know how much of a letdown it is to have a very senior person in the Trump campaign team get four years in prison and millions of dollars to, to pay back and the kind of illegal activity that is now uh, that he's now been uh, convicted of. I think that, that is a pretty uh, shocking blow. But I think what will come next is the people who were connected to Manafort, uh, the people that um, are allegedly next in the firing line. That includes not only Trump Jr., uh, but also uh, Jared Kushner, uh, Trump's son-in-law. Uh, these are other figures that we're expecting will uh, uh, be uh, coming under the eye uh, of the Mueller investigation next. And it'll be very interesting to see if there are any uh, indictments relating to them, because the circle seems to get be getting a lot closer uh, to Trump. Okay. Tom, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much, as always, for joining us.